Okay, let's take a walk around this. Uh, I think it's a 1989, certainly an F plate, so it's either 88 or 89. Uh, BMW 635 CSI Highline, finished in lax silver um, with silver leather. Um, this one has got full shadow line trim. Um, in other words, all the chrome around the windows and everything is uh, properly blacked out. Um, headlamp wash wipe. Uh, it's running on later style non-metric wheels and tyres. Uh, what are they? Like Dunlop, Dunlop SPs on the front there. Um, what have we got on here? Dunlop. Yep, Dunlop's there as well. Uh, it's got rear mud flaps on it. It's got the blacked out tail panel of the last cars. Um, Continental there. So it's got a mixture of Continentals and Dunlop tyres on. Um, bodily looks in really, really nice condition actually. We'll just go round it and pick out some of the, the good bits and bad bits on it. But overall, it's a very, very smart looking car for one of these at this sort of age now. Um, right, from the front, a few very, very minor stone chips around the bonnet and the front panel and stuff, but not a lot. A couple up there, just a few stone chips here and there. Um, grills all look good. It's missing, as with a lot of them, it's missing its right front fog lamp uh, in the bumper there. Normally they get uh, stone hits and stuff and people take them out to look a bit unsightly. And there's a bit of paint loss just on the bottom of the spoiler, just underneath where that fog lamp would go. Um, oh, there's one thing I noticed here, the, the offside front bumper corner has got a tiny bit missing off it just there. That should, um, should sort of fit in there a little bit better than it does. It's slightly scuffed there, but no more than that. Just the, uh, the black plastic trim has got a tiny bit missing. Looking down the near side, it all looks pretty straight and true down there. There's no parking dinks or dents or anything really I can uh, spot. We've got um, just on the near side front wing here, I would imagine this has been repaired at some point in the past. There's a little bit of sort of uh, bubbling under the paint just there uh, and a tiny bit just there as well. It looks like it has had a little bit of, um, uh, a little bit of work just there as most of them will have done over the years. Um, all around the arch it's nice, around the screen edge it's nice all around here because they normally get a bit rotten up here from time to time around the screens, that's all good. Roof panel is fine, a couple of blemishes in the paint on the sunroof, I suspect this has been repainted at some point. A couple of tiny blemishes just in the paint but that's really been very picky. Near side door has got a big chip on it just there where my fingernail is. Um, and a little bit of scuffing just here on the um, on the near side mirror housing, but otherwise the near side door is good. Internally, um, all pretty nice. It's got the silver leather in it, as I say. It's all nice in the back. Being a high line, it's got the uh, the leather headlining and all the the right bits and pieces. That's the original fit fitment for an original car phone. Um, leather dash. This A post trim here is slightly worn, um, and the. Uh, uh, they always fall off these. The cover that sort of covers the motor, motor me mechanism up there on the sports seat has gone walkabout. I know on the driver's side it's loose, but that one seems to disappear completely. You can get them from BMW Broker if needs be, and it's uh, sort of they always tend to come off. Um, door cards, nice. It's all good. Carrying on round. Near side rear wing is all nice there. Um, yeah, it's all good. Slight crack just there, it's probably got a tiny bit of filler in it, I would think, just around there, just underneath the light. There's a little bit of little crack in the paint just there underneath the near side rear light unit. Boot lid is good. Um, rear bumper's nice. We have actually got a very slight scuff just in the rear bumper just here. In fact, that's most of that is coming off just by hand. So uh, that's nothing really. I think probably we've just done that against uh, um, our unit side. Uh, looking down the offside, once again, very, very straight and true and clean down there. The only thing it is missing is the mud flap from the offside rear uh, rear quarter. That seems to have gone walkabout. Um, offside rear arch, all looks nice. Um, offside door, we'll come back to the interior in a minute. A little bit of scuffing on the offside mirror housing just there. Uh, offside front wing, once again, probably has been filled at some point in the past. There's a tiny sort of 
raised bit, raised bubble bit just there, another one there, and it is bubbling up just slightly here, just against the, um, uh, the Highline arch trim, uh, a little bit of bubbling just along the very, very edge just there. Um, that's about it, and as I say, you've got a, a two inch long scratch just there on the offside front wing, and a little bit of plastic missing from that black bit of the bumper just there. Inside on the driver's side, uh, door card is all good. This just needs a good clean, really. It's just where we've been, have, you know, everyone's been a bit muddy where they've been uh, driving it around our place. So um, it's got all the carpets in there, just needs a good valet more than anything else. Um, driver's seat, a couple of minor splits in the leather, um, a one inch long split there in the bolster, very, very worn on this driver's bolster, very thin, and a couple of tiny splits in the upper bolster just here. But uh, I think you expect that, really. As I say, this, uh, this is the same on, that's what I mean, this panel here, it just sort of screws on but always comes off again on the um, side of the electric seat. Oh, hopeless. Tuck it down there for me. Um, that's about it. Interior wise, so, so could do with the valet. It's, it's clean enough, but um, to be absolutely perfect, it probably could do with the valet. Um, showing 135,000 miles. Uh, and yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a nice looking highline actually. My name's Simon, you can reach me on 0771. 906-9353 or in the office on 0118-946-3352 or you can go to our website which is www.motodrome.co.uk and